Hey guys, this is AK47 Master here, back with another episode of Super Mario Galaxy. And on this episode, we're gonna be heading back to Beach Bowl Galaxy, because as you can see right there, we have a fast boat coming. I don't know if we did this one already. I believe we have. I may be wrong, but I think we did before. Anyways, nonetheless, let's do this prankster comic. Fast foes on the Cyclone Stone. Sounds like a plan. Alright, and as you can see, instantly remember and realize this level that we did just last episode. And same star, just this time with faster mobs, or whatever these things are called. I actually find this level to be uh, more convenient than... Just go over here and pick up a one-up. Easy, easy one up. Uh, I just find this level to be more convenient that the foes are actually faster because it makes it a lot more fast paced and it takes a lot less time to actually do this level as opposed to what it usually took me, which is a long ass time to be, to put it bluntly for you guys. Uh, it, it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun because it took so damn long. That's the reason. Uh, oops, so watch out for these obstacles, of course. These moving obstacles, they could be a pain in the arch. So just wait for this thing. And this guy, I believe, will continuously rotate. He will not stop on this platform, which is a good thing. You just keep on going this way and move on with your life. All right. Uh, let's just wait for this guy. All right. His path is actually very, very short, so... If you're not too careful, he could actually run into you. Or worse. Come on, come on. Alright, good. If this wasn't a fastball comet, I would have died right there. Simply because that guy is just way too slow when you're playing this the normal way. Or the normal version of this level. But since it's fastball, yeah, we have it so fast, so blazing nitro energy filled fast that we got the star. Alright, nice. In the first two minutes. Pretty nice. New record. <laughs> I think so. Probably is a new record. This is isn't a very tough level, and they already take out the whole idea, the whole point of getting the five chips, which is what took me the most time the first time around when I was doing that level, which could be annoying. All right. So after that, we got yet another quick level that we're gonna do right now, and all these 25 more coins or more star bits, and we could do the hungry Luna mission for this level, and I guarantee you this level is gonna happen. We are going to get those 25 star bits and then some. So we're gonna get the secret star from the secret undersea cavern. That's right, secret, secret, secret. So secretive, right? You can already tell. Yep, it's so secretive. Alright. So secretive that all of you know about it right now. That's how secret it is. So don't tell anyone else. You better not. I'm warning you. I'm gonna come find you and I'm going to I don't know. I'm gonna give you a hug. Give you a hug job. Everyone needs a hug every now and then. What the hell am I talking about? Alright, anyways. Uh, you wanna go down to the bottom of the sea, under the sea, and get yourself a green shell. And look at You actually could get little, like, backlights. Like some parking lights on your turtle shell. Because everyone hates parallel parking. Even Mario. Even Super Mario hates parallel parking because he knows how much it sucks. And I'm going to be taking my... Well, actually, I don't have any plans to take my driving test at the moment, but I probably will do it eventually. I mean, I am 17 years old. I'm an, Amer I'm an American male. American. And every American male has a driver's license by the time they're, like, 20 or 19 or whatever. You know. You know how dudes are. They love driving. I'm not a big fan of driving myself. I mean, yeah, I'm just not a fan, fan of driving. I'm a fan of the driving game Gran Turismo. That's a good driving game, but uh, as far as real life driving, uh, I'll pass. I'll be a passenger. I'll be. I'll. I'll ride shotgun. It's all good. And look, yet another para Another good old uh, character from what's that game called? Super Mario Sunshine. So many classic Super Mario Sunshine characters, and everyone remembers these guys. So let's get get this one to follow us. And put again, like I said, plenty of star bits that you could easily get from a distance using your Wii Pointer. Which is why I said we're definitely going to get the 25 star bits we need and then some. And look, I was quite correct. And no, 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 no! Don't go in the freaking water! What the heck? How does a dog drown in water? Water. How does a dog drown in water? I don't get it. Alright, so just try to guide it. No! No! Come back here. You are my minion. You will follow me. And if anything, and if you have to get him close enough to do that to you, uh, feel free. If anything, that's better than just letting him 
kill himself in water, which makes no sense because he's a freaking duck. At least in Pokemon logic, he should be a water type. So why would he drown in water? It makes no sense. Alright, so you want to get this coin, and that will cause a ice flower to appear. So just like Fire Mario, you can turn into Ice Mario. You can spin to skate on water, and look, now he wants to follow us into the freaking water. <laughs> I mean, he's going to kill himself either way, so... Yeah, it's not very smart on his part. And I really like this power-up. They really do it justice in this uh, game. I really, really, really like it. I must admit. Crap. Alright, let's go over here. Maybe this guy will give us a ice flower if we kill him. That sounds like a good trade-off. And look, I was right. I just predicted it, because, you know, they conveniently placed him right there. And they expect you to run out of ice uh, power, flower, power thingy by the time you got up here, so hey, I'm not surprised. I'm not the only one who thinks logically. Nintendo's game developers also think logically, apparently. <laughs> oh, what, what a surprise. Who would have knew? Okay. And we got these ice things for those of you who played Zelda, like Twilight Princess. You probably recognize those. They were in, uh... Oh wait, I see what they want us to do here. They want us to guide that duck over. Wow, that is so, so annoying. Wow. Oh, that's already a good prediction and sign of how this level's gonna turn out. Okay. Anyways, in all seriousness, let's guide him over there. Oh, ooh, not what I wanted to do. Not what I wanted to do. Alright, so guide him over here. Come on, come on, come on. Just follow me. Follow me! No, that's not where I want you to take me. No, 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 no. Come here, come here. Alright, there we go. There we go, we got the star. Alright, nice. Okay, not bad, not bad. We got that completed quite nicely, I must say. I must say for myself. So, that's about the fifth star we've gotten from Beach Bowl. Quite a lot of completion from that level. That was one of the galaxies I actually wasn't planning on completing. Or actually, never mind, there's another water-based galaxy that I do not plan on completing, and I just told you guys that, and we got another chapter for the storybook, so we could watch uh, Rosalina's sexy face as she's reading the, the book. Actually, we're not going to be able to look at her sexy face, unfortunately, but uh, whatever. Okay. So you got over 600, so this guy will be happy, fat, obese, like any typical American at Shop McDonald's. I'm looking around for jobs and stuff, and of course McDonald's is like allowing me, allowing kids to apply. But I'm like, come on, I can't work at McDonald's. Like, I, I, I can't see myself. Oh crap, I just clicked the sync button on my Wii Remote, excuse me. Alright, there we go. Sorry, anyways, uh, Drip Truck Galaxy, alright. Uh, I cannot work at McDonald's. I'm 17 years old, and I, I still have higher standards than working at McDonald's. I mean, it's not a big deal to work at McDonald's, it's just that I don't have the, I simply don't have the patience to deal with shitty people. Not saying that everyone who sh goes to McDonald's is crappy, but I mean, like, let's face it, it's McDonald's. Every class, every type of person goes to McDonald's. Like, it's McDonald's. It's as simple as that. You know what I mean? So, I, I don't know, I just can't see myself actually working there. Anyways, let's talk to this guy. Ever since those big eels showed up, we've ha haven't caught any fish. Get rid of those big eels. Alright, so that should give you an idea of what we gotta do here. We gotta get rid of these eels. So, anyways, you got these bullet bills, these water bullet bills, and I believe you have to lead them over to these eels, if I'm not mistaken. Do this. See what's in here. Whoa, crap! Why was that thing shining? And, oh, look, it's the, uh, this thing, the shroom ship. So these guys are on here as well. They always seem to be catching up with us somehow. Somehow, some way, it seems to keep happening. Alright, so let's get this guy. That's one way of taking them out. I believe you could also utilize the bullet bill, but uh, I personally would rather use the uh, turtle shell since you, it's more direct in terms of your control. It's easier for you to decide where it will go. Because, granted, the bullet bill will follow your general path, but you can't be super, super accurate with, with it like you can with uh, this turtle shell. It's right here. It's right here. Damn it, we missed. No, oh, I missed! Okay. <laughs> Alright. So let's get that in another turtle shell. It should be up here. In this area. 
thankfully it is. Alright, how wonderful. So let's go over to this eel, follow his path. I believe they go for the same exact path. And that should be it. There we go. Nice. Just one more, I believe. One or two more. Uh, it should be around here somewhere. Oh, I don't want to run into that guy. <laughs> the guy almost hit me. Uh, it should be. There it is. Nice. All right. So we just got to get one more. And we will have ourselves a lovely golden shell. Duh. Wait, that, that was it? Yay! Wow, I screwed up and it actually benefited. It actually helped me out. How lovely. Okay, so let's pick up this shell so we got an easy way to get over there. And that will pretty much be wrapping it up for this episode, guys. So there we go, we got our third star. Uh, quicker than I expected, so that's pretty much going to be it for this episode because I'm expecting some friends to come over and I don't want to record for much longer before they show up. They should be showing up soon, so uh, that's going to be it for me. It is AK-47 Master, and I'm going to be signing out. See you guys next time.